the word posterolateral have a value in orthopedics. Teaching orthopedics is not easy. We strive to teach the young doctors how to remember things. We're always looking for ideas to make sure teaching is simple and easy. Here we use the word posterolateral associated with multiple orthopedic problems. So what does the posterolateral word mean and what are the problems that contain the word posterolateral? If you look at the diagram of the body, the front of the body is called anterior, the back of the body is called posterior. If you look at a person standing in front of you, things that point towards the middle of the body, it's called medial. And things that point to the outside, it's called lateral. So the posterolateral are things that are pointing to the outside and to the back. So what are these entities? So there is a posterolateral bundle of the ACL, there is a posterolateral corner, there is a posterolateral elbow dislocation, there is a posterolateral rotatory instability of the elbow, there is a posterolateral irreducible knee dislocation, there is a posterolateral fracture of the femoral condyle called half a fracture. And there are blocking screws that we put in the posterolateral aspect of the proximal tibial fragment. So the posterolateral bundle of the ACL is the bundle that is tight in extension, the bundle that provides rotational stability of the knee. If this bundle is deficient, the patient will have a positive pivot shift. How about the posterolateral corner? The posterolateral corner is in the lateral aspect of the knee. It has the following structures, the lateral collateral ligament, the popliteus tendon, the popliteofibular ligament. So if these structures are deficient, then the patient will have instability of the knee. Injury of the posterolateral corner is rarely isolated. It is usually present with injuries to other ligaments such as the PCL and the ACL. This injury is diagnosed by the dial test at 30 degrees of knee flexion and MRI. Missed posterolateral corner injury can cause an ACL reconstruction failure. How about the posterolateral Elbow dislocation. This is the most common dislocation that undergoes laterally and posteriorly. How about the posterolateral elbow instability, which occurs due to deficiency of the lateral under collateral ligament? We can diagnose its deficiency by the pivot shift test of the elbow. How about the posterolateral knee dislocation? It is a rotatory dislocation. It occurs in about 4%. There will be button holing of the femoral condyle through the capsule that will lead to the anteromedial dimple sign. So if you see that dimple sign in a knee dislocation, the knee is probably irreducible. You may try once to reduce it, but you will need to take the patient to the operating room to perform open reduction, but you need to check the vascularity thoroughly before you take the patient to the operating room. Half a fracture is a rare intraarticular fracture of the posterior lateral femoral condyle. It occurs from violent trauma and generally occurs in young adults. It affects the lateral condyle in about 85% of the time. The fracture is coronal and can be missed on routine lateral x-rays. 
So it is hidden and you can miss it. So look for it. 20% of half fractures are diagnosed with x-rays only. CT scan is the best study for diagnosing half a fracture. How about posterolateral screws for proximal tibial fracture? It's called blocking the screws, and you put it in proximal tibial fracture. This fracture have a tendency for malalignment into valgus and procurvatum. So you put the blocking screws in the posterior and the lateral aspect of the proximal fragment to avoid this malalignment of the proximal tibia. There are many tactics to avoid this malalignment, and one of them is the blocking screws. And this is where you insert the screws, in the posterior and lateral part of the proximal tibia. Thank you very much. I hope this quick review was helpful.